Welcome to this Specialty Products Company installation video for the 81350 adjustable upper control arms for Audi and Volkswagen. These arms are specifically designed to adjust camber and caster on these popular tuner vehicles. Please follow all safety precautions related to the equipment associated with the installation and adjustment of this product. Start by lifting and supporting the vehicle by the body so the suspension hangs freely. Remove the tire and wheel assembly. It is necessary to remove the strut assembly with the upper control arms and mounting plate from the vehicle in order to remove the upper control arm bolts. Remove the long pinch bolt and nut holding the outer ball joint ends into the knuckle. Install a strap to support the knuckle assembly so it does not fall free and strain the brake lines or the axle shaft. Use of a spreader tool such as a chisel to open up the slot will make removing the ball joints from the knuckle much easier. Pop the ball joints loose from the knuckle assembly. Now remove the lower strut bolt and nut from the lower control arm. From under the hood, remove the cowl trim if necessary. Now remove the three bolts holding the strut plate to the body. It may be necessary to remove a retaining washer from the locating stud on the underside of the strut plate. Now remove the complete strut assembly from the vehicle. Lay the strut assembly on the workbench so the control arms are vertical. This will aid with installation of the new arms. Remove the control arm mounting bolts. Adjust the new control arms so they are approximately the same length as the stock arms with equal threads showing on either side of the turnbuckle. Install one new arm with one stock arm. It may be necessary to trim the strut plate to make sure there is full travel of the suspension. Match up one new arm with one old arm to see if they have the same travel against the strut plate. If trimming is necessary, use the 85137 aluminum rotary file or equivalent to trim the mounting plate. Trim just enough to supply clearance for the control arm. Make sure the new control arm is in the same position as the old control arm against the strut plate. Repeat the procedure for the other control arm. Now place both control arms in a vertical position, then tighten the retaining bolts. This will ensure that the bushings are tightened in the same position as the stock control arms were. Torque the bolts to 37 pound-feet or 50 newton meter. Reinstall the strut assembly back into the vehicle.
install but do not tighten the lower strut bolt. Reinstall the three strut plate bolts and torque to 50 pound feet or 75 newton meter. Reinstall a cowling trim if necessary. Spread the slot in the knuckle slightly and install the control arm ball joints into the knuckle assembly. Install the pinch bolt and nut, tighten and torque to specifications. Remove the strap supporting the knuckle. Install the tire and wheel assembly. With the vehicle lowered, tighten the lower strut bolt and torque to 66 pound feet or 90 newton meters. To gain access to the control arms for adjustment, it is best to use the jack and hold or jack up selected axle function on the alignment equipment. Adjust the control arm by turning the center turnbuckle to the desired camber and caster readings. Do not adjust the control arm so more than 16 millimeters or 5 8 inch of thread is showing on either side of the turnbuckle. Tighten the lock nut securely after adjustment is completed. Adjust toe and road test the vehicle.